Hey guys, today we're doing a Slayer task. Nice old Iron Dragons task. Now, to do Iron Dragons, well, you first need to get your inventory set up at a bank. I usually set up in Ardong, unless I need to go to the GE and buy some things, such as a superset, prayer pots, or anti-fire potions, which you don't really need, but they're good to have if you don't want to take any fire damage, so that's why I only have a 2 dose right now, because it's the smallest dose I had in my even, uh, bank. And there's really two methods to, there's three methods to do this. You, four. There's maging with fire spells and safe spotting. And you usually have a dragon fire shield, of course. Then there's, um, there's ranging, safe spot, of course. You know, a lot of people do that. And then there's prayer, which is what I'm doing. You know, you got your prayer armor. Armor maxing out prayer. Got my aura, since that came out. And, um, you do that, or you can just max out defense with like full bandos and go that way with your fire shield. Always bring a fire shield, no matter what method, you're going to use a fire shield. Anti fire shield DFS or regular. And potions are optional, but it's recommended. So you choose your method, and it can be any setup you, you prefer. And there's two places you can really, there's only really two places you can do Iron Dragons, and that's Brimhaven Dungeon, which I'm in right now, as you can see me going to. You usually take the boat from Ardong. And then there's Curdle's Dungeon, which is, if you have them as a master, or her, whatever, I don't have them, you can use their dungeon, which has Iron Dragons in, which is a lot easier to get to than this. But since I don't have access to them at my level, um, I'm not doing them. So yeah, I have to go through the Birmingham Dungeon, and this is the fastest way there, Agility Path. You can go upstairs around the long way if you don't have the Agility level, if you don't like doing Agility. And you can go down upstairs and downstairs. And to do Brimhaven, bring money to pay the guy, so about 2k should do it. 1k, I mean, sorry. Um, you pay the guy, bring an axe to chop through these, and just be able to deal with wild dogs while running through. Now, if you bring a summon, you always bring a summon to dragons, no matter what task you have. So, since I can summon the highest pack animal is Terrorbird for me, I bring Terrorbird. And, yeah. That's basically it. Once I start getting a high inventory, I'm going to summon him and start putting shit in him. As you can see here, here's some void ranging steel dragons. So that's their method. I will be praying against regular iron dragons. And I bring about a few sharks to just in case I run out of like anti fires before I get a full inventory and need to um, eat. I won't get you won't get hit that much. We need to bring a lot, about four, five, maybe six. If you're low in defense and low in health. But yeah, so I'm not taking any damage because I have the drag, the DFS and uh, a DFS and a anti fire pot, pot. So that's basically about it. You come here, select iron dragons. Be careful because steel dragons are aggressive, so you might get attacked from them. Now. These dragons are also something that people like to camp, bring down a pack yak and camp them for a long time. You know, get full inventories of a pack yak and teleport out on, teleport back kind of thing. You can do that if you'd like because you have a chance at some good drops. Drops you should be looking for, elite crew scrolls if you like to include scrolls. Oh, a major too. Good. Examples. I like examples. Now, um, elite crew scrolls, hard crew scrolls, um, dragon legs, dragon helmet, med helm, so and so, ugh, can't talk right now, sorry, need a drink, but um, yeah, and then there's the almighty dragon visage, yes, a lot of people are looking to get a visage while fighting these, constant drops are iron bars, five of them, every time, and not noted, so don't worry about picking them up, they're not worth enough to bother, and then dragon bones, always pick up dragon bones, they're worth about 5k, so you can make about trip is probably about almost like for me my levels is about half an hour i can do a trip and that's a good 15 dragon bones about so 15 times 5000 is do some quick math in my head that's about 75k yes 75k for my trips that's about every half hour 40 minutes which is pretty good 45 minutes max so if you're looking for that if you're looking at Visage, camp them for as long as you want. You can get a 14 mil, 15 mil drop, depending on what the price is for that day. I'm not exactly sure. I'm up to date on them. And yeah, um, do your Iron Drags tasks. Kill your Steel Drags if you like them. If you get Steel Dragons, 
as this is also kind of a duel, and have fun doing some dragon slaying. Um, there's no other real details I can give you on them other than if um, if you have a preferred method that you'd like to do, um, do your own style. But this is basically just to tell where they are, what drops you can get from them, and what to really expect. Oh, another thing is, usually when they drop, uh, what's it called? Charms. They drop two at a time. Sometimes I've gotten three green at once, so expect that when you get charm drops. They're pretty good for green, crimson, and gold, and if you're lucky, you'll get a blue charm from them, which everyone loves their blue charms. So yeah, quick run over drops, where they are, and the four methods you can really use. Go kill your iron dragons. Yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe.